In this video, I'm going to tell you my income report for April 2021 on KDP Publishing Low Content Books. Hello, home bosses. My name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And in today's video, I want to show you my income report for April for KDP. And that is because a lot of you have been asking me to let them know my income for April. And the reason I do my income reports is to show you what can be possible. Hopefully it serves as a little bit of motivation for those of you who are still trying to make it, who are still at the beginning. And I remember when I was at the beginning of this journey and I used to watch other YouTubers and their income reports and I found it motivational and at least it showed me what was possible. It is a bit of a long journey. It's not easy to get to a regular level of earnings on KDP. It's a little bit of a roller coaster. One month you're doing well, the next month it's not so great. But it's all part of this business and uh, the longer you do it, you will find that you get a sense of what is working for you and what isn't working for you. So for those of you who've never been on this channel before, I talk about making low content books for Amazon KDP and low content books are things like planners, journals, notebooks and also things like activity books for children, coloring books. So if you decide to learn more about KDP, have a look at my channel. I've got a video series on how you can publish your first lined notebook on KDP and hopefully that will help you and you might find it interesting. So without further ado, I'm going to jump onto the screen share and show you my income report for April 2021. So let's have a look at my income for April 2021. First of all, April 2021 was not as good as March 2021. I had a really good month in March and then my sales dropped in April. But I think that that is very typical in KDP. You can have a really good month and then suddenly your sales can can go down as well. So this is my income for April 2021 and I made $3,315.95 and that is selling 802 books altogether. I've got about a total of 560 books at the moment and also out of those 560 books in total I only sell about 20 to 30 percent of them. So not all of your books will sell. I don't think that anybody who's successful on KDP sells all of their books. Most of the time it's about 20 to 30 percent of sales on certain books. So not all books will sell and you will have a lot of books that are never going to sell. <laughs> like I've got about 80 percent or 70% of my books that never sell. But that is okay because you make your income from the 20% or 30% that do sell. In my case, it's about, it's between 20 and 30%. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm happy with this amount in April. And um, just to show you the different days, what I sold, let's have a look and compare. The ones in grey are for April and the ones in blue are May. So you can compare how I'm doing this month compared to last month. Now, as you can see in April, it was really up and down. Some days were really good, like I had a really good day here. I sold 43 units in one day and uh, earned $179 that day. Another good day here. On the 27th of April, I sold 38 units. And then there are days when things are not so great. For example, here on the 18th, I only sold 13 units on that day. So overall, I'm really happy with April because when I first started on KDP, 
My goal was to make a thousand dollars per month regularly. That was what I was aiming for. And so far, so good. I've, I've always made more than that for the last, um, for the last six months, I think. So I'm, I'm really happy with how KDP is performing for me. And if you're wondering where I get these statistics from, this software is called KDP Champ. I will leave a link below my video so you can check it out. I find it really useful and I get a lot of information from this tool. The other thing I need to say is this amount is not net. I, I did run ads for the month of April. So let's have a look and see how much I spent on ads. So as you can see, I spend 717 pounds sterling on ads. So I'm running my ads in the UK market and that's why it is telling me the amount in pounds and not in US dollars. But if we convert this, let me quickly convert this for you. So I've put in the 717 pounds sterling into this currency converter and that has converted it to $1,011.72. So we need to take this amount away from the earnings for April. So let's quickly go back. So if you have a look at my ads, I spent £717 to generate 2743 in sales. Now that is not profit, that is sales, book sales. The ACOS could have been a little bit better. I'm okay with this ACOS because my books have a profit margin of around three pounds. So, so it's not too bad. I'm not losing money. I'm not breaking even. I'm making some profit on these ads. So I'm not too concerned about that. But if I can get the ACOS to go a little bit lower, then that would be even better. And other than that, I found that running ads in April was more difficult than it was in March. I, I found that ads were running slower, if I can say it that way. I didn't, I didn't get as, as many orders from my ads as I did in March, for example. And I found it a little bit more difficult to run ads during April. But I think that is also quite normal. Some months are better than others. And uh, it's always a good idea to run ads when you can see that books are selling well. For example, just before Mother's Day or just before Father's Day, when there's an event that produces more sales, it's a lot easier to run ads. So let's go back to our earnings. So April has been quite a good month for me, even though we have to deduct the ad spent, which is $1,011. So if we take away $1,011.90 from the $3,315 that I earned in royalties, that leaves us with a healthy $2,303.90 as a net income. Of course, I also have some subscriptions to Creative Fabrica and to other tools, and that has to be deducted from those earnings, but that is not a lot of money. So I am still very, very happy with my income for April. So this is my April income report for KDP. It wasn't as good as my March income, but I'm still very happy with this. And I remember that when I first started, I was really hoping to get to a thousand dollars per month. And uh, it's been difficult. It's not been easy in the first year. It was a little bit of a struggle to get to that level. But now I'm finding that I know what works, what doesn't work. And my income is becoming more regular now. And hopefully this will become my full time income so that I don't have to go back into an office job. It's something that you can achieve as well if you put in the work. I know KDP is not for everybody. There are a lot of rules that you have to follow on KDP. You have to do it the right way. And I know there are a lot of videos out there that show you how easy it is. And it really is not that easy. You have to really do it in the right way. And if you do it in the right way, you put in the work, then it's absolutely possible to have a really good income on Amazon KDP. So if you want to find out more about Amazon KDP and how to make an income, 
have a look at my channel. As I said, I've got a video series that tells you exactly step by step how to put on a notebook on Amazon. And I'll leave the link below this video so you can take a look. And I've got lots of other videos that show you different processes. So be under no illusions. It's not an easy way to make money, but it's a really enjoyable way and creative way to make money online. So I hope you like that. And also don't forget to join our Facebook group if you're interested. It's the Home Boss group on Facebook. I'll leave a link below and it's a really good way to ask any questions and everybody in the group is very helpful. So it's a much better way than asking questions here on YouTube because I find that I get so many comments now that I find it quite difficult to answer all of them. So the best way to ask is in the Facebook group. That's why I created it so that if anybody has questions, you can ask them there and hopefully receive an answer. And I'm very active in the group, so you can reach me in the group much more easily than by sending emails or commenting on YouTube. But you're welcome to comment on this channel as well. And I do read all of your comments. It's just that sometimes I can't reply to all of them. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.